I'm T.J. Yusuf. I represent the people of Kaba, Bunu, Ijumu, Federal Constituency. I'm from Kogi State. Mr. Speaker, sir, my dear colleague, I feel very elated for the privilege to talk on this subject matter. Mr. Speaker, sir, my dear colleagues, recession does not just happen. It is a reflection of the seed sown, yes, and a reflection of decision taken now that accumulate into what you have today. Mr. Speaker, it's not news that there's food deep in the price of crude oil. However, if we are taking proactive measures, one, by saving in the time of surplus, we might have the privilege of being able to draw from it. Unfortunately, every effort to save was resisted, especially by our governors then. I remember vividly the debate about the prices of or the benchmark set for budgets in 2003 and 2013 and 2014. That is in yesterday. But it, they are part of what led us to where we are today. At that time, a lot of people did not see the, what saving would do to us. Again, Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, we took certain decisions last year that further contributed to where we are. The policy or the decision to restrict forex transaction for about three, four months have various of effects on our economy. One, to manufacturers who have to procure raw materials four, five months ahead of time. They couldn't make payment. Some had to resort to going to Togo, Ghana to make payment. That crippled the ability to go on with their business, Mr. Speaker. We went further to realize that our ports today, it used to be that when you go to a papa, it takes you hours to go through the gridlock in a papa. You go to a papa today. <laughs> Why? A port that is not a preferred destination because you are competing ports, Togo, Ghana, been here. Dumeraj in Nigeria is on the third day. In Togo, it's about nine days. In Ghana, about 12. Kotori, about 11. So for an importer, it is natural. You go to where you think the policies are favorable to you. The clearing cost is high. So, Mr. Speaker, we must, like you, and you, your speech like yesterday, Mr. Speaker, you call for emergency joint session where the executive will come and brief the House of their intention, the policy direction towards taking out of recession so that we can make contribution. Mr. Speaker, these are some of the challenges that have brought us where we are. I will talk about TSA briefly. The intention of those who came up with the idea of TSA is not for us to warehouse money and keep it somewhere. Spending is what's reflected economy. You don't reflect economy by having money somewhere. You reflect by paying contractors so that the, especially the small contractors, if you look at a lot of time, we focus on the big time contractors. What reflects the common market is what you pay the small contractors. Mr. Speaker, I use example of uh, maybe the international passport. The passport office contract the production out. The portal is contracted out when they do their job and you pay straight to TSC. It takes a month for such people to get their money. The bottleneck, the Ministry of Finance, and what have you are there. We must advise that TSA is good, but we must deliberately make sure that those who need to get their payment get them on time so that this economy can be reflected. Mr. Speaker, participation is reality. We must deliberately sit down get people who are reputable to know a bioeconomy, to be part of a rejigging our economy. Let the world know, because we went, we, no matter how good you are, if I don't perceive you to be good, I go to market with that mindset that you are not good. 
Mr. Speaker, so I will not take uh, our time unnecessarily. I appeal that there should be a deliberate measure to reconcile the very funny dollar rates. You have official rates, you have uh, market rates, you have the real rates. So it is very easy for people to sit down and do rat tripping and make billions of naira. So why, not, why will you now activate manufacturing when you can make billions without doing much? With this view, Mr. Speaker, position of mine, I want to say we need the emergency joint session you call for, Mr. Speaker. The time is now. It is important so that we can make valuable contribution to the Jiga economy together. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.